to the present, shall we? We're less than 10 hours away now from the first debate. Steve Kalk is with us. He's the Trump senior economic advisor. Well, Steve, welcome back to the program. You're one of Thank seven you. Steves, aren't you? One of six Steves, but yeah. Six, oh, I'm very sorry. Okay, okay. But yeah, we'll now, more Steve here and there. We're going to be able to follow the market second right. by second sure. during the debate tonight because sure. Dow futures, as they call them, sure. they're, they're traded 24 7. Sure. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen? I think they're going to remain relatively unchanged. I, I, I think okay. that, the, uh, that the professionals in that field are going to wait a little bit, see exactly what happens. Please God, we'll see some of the tax uh, reductions that Mr. Trump wants to see imposed, and I think then we're going to see some real action. Well, we had um, Wilbur Ross, billionaire, well, right. the billionaire. Great friend, Wilbur great Ross. guy. Yeah, great guy. Now, he says he thinks Trump is going to win. And he has a huge advantage in the economy and the markets. And I guess you'd agree with that. I'd agree 100%. I think we talked earlier about tax, trade, energy, and uh, overall deregulation, government deregulation, and the impacts that those could have on the economy with an overall 35 to even as far as 4% increase in GDP. And I believe strongly that if we implement those plans, that the clear-eyed leadership of uh, Mr. Trump has uh, implemented, that, that we can really see that. There's a clear difference of opinion on college programs. I sure. just want to hold on for a second, because Donald Trump explained his plan plan to reduce the cost of college. Just roll that tape. We're also going to bring down the cost of college. Universities get massive federal funds and huge tax breaks for their endowments, but then they don't spend those funds or those endowments on their students. I will work with Congress to make sure these special federal benefits are not available unless universities begin to reduce tuition and student debt. It's too expensive. Now, that's interesting because and if you don't get the tuition down, you don't get the tax breaks. That's pretty radical stuff. It is uh, to a certain degree. But if you think about ta uh, the, the more um, the federal government is allowed to lend, and incidentally, they spend $70 billion a year on higher education, uh, $130 billion on student mm. loans. But the higher that lendable amount is, it seems that the tuitions track yes, that. Exactly. And I think exactly. what Mr. Trump is trying to say here is, look, college costs have gone up 500%. 500% since 1973, and you see the tax breaks that these endowments get, and you see the special tax treatment. What well, Mr. Trump is saying, let's tweak things to make sure that a certain percentage of that is used to lower tuition and actually help those students. That's the direct opposite of Hillary Clinton, who says free college, essentially <laughs> free college up to $125,000 worth of income. Sure. It's the opposite. Look, it's, it's not only the opposite, it's completely unrealistic. I think all of us in business, all of us in life, all of us as Americans know that there is no such thing as a free lunch, right? And so as a result, we have to work for that benefit. We have to work for that privilege. Do you think Donald Trump will get into that kind of minutiae tonight? I mean, like getting, zeroing right down on college costs? I, I don't think so. Not that level of minutiae. I don't think that's what the American people want, and I don't think that's what should be delivered in a debate format like this. We need to understand the big ideas, the change, the real leadership that it's going to take to move move our country forward. We got to get out of this rut that we're in. It's about jobs, dummy. Do you <laughs> I thought you're looking at me. No. Uh, do, do you agree with everybody around this table so far this morning that Donald Trump tonight will not say crooked Hillary? I, I don't think he will. I don't think that's his plan. Um, I think that uh, you have to remain flexible. Uh, goodness knows what kind of hijinks could, uh, could be presented to him, but I do know he's a very sharp guy. Mm. He's a self-made guy that's going to adjust with, uh, with what's happening on stage or potentially in the audience, and I think it's going to be really interesting as well as entertaining. We're glued, baby. We're glued. Yeah. All right, Steve Cork, thanks very much for joining us, sir. Appreciate thanks for having me, as always.